having a strong visual library is an absolute flex in the art world. It's a key indicator that you are able to work off the fly, you are able to work a drawing, and your understanding of anatomy and the fundamentals of art is going to lead you to a pretty badass piece of artwork by the end of it. And this drawing is going to be just exactly that if you decide to stick through it. I'm going to show you a very rough sketch that had zero reference whatsoever used through it, but I made it a comfortable enough pose that I have seen in my life enough, even though I have never ever drawn this pose. It feels like something ripped right out of One Piece or something, like a Gear 2 Luffy, even though this drawing had no One Piece next to it. I drew a completely different character and there is no image online that looks just like this one. And if there is, it's an even better indicator of something that I saw I remembered and I drew as close as I could or my own variation of. You see, in order to build a strong visual library, Master Kim Jong-gi, one of my art heroes, said that you have to visualize everything from basically a 3D angle. That solidifies it in stone that you can actually draw it, even if it's your first time drawing it. Imagine a cup or a remote. A pen, or in this case, this character. Because I have drawn this character this one time in this pose, I can visualize him in a 3D perspective from all angles and could definitely draw him in any of those angles. This is why Master Ichiro Oda of One Piece is one of the strongest artists you will ever see even if you are not a fan of his art style. Because of the drawings that he draws and the characters having such crazy anatomical proportions, the fact that he can draw them from all angles indicates that he not only has a strong visual library, he understands angles perspectives, but that he also visualizes and draws everything at pretty much a 3D angle or a 3D mindset. One of the strongest ways to do that at the beginning is actually start off with reference because that's how you learn at the beginning. You practice drawing specific poses so many times that they are almost etched into your brain. But the best way to get better at it is look at that reference or that pose and do something different with it. Change the hand position, change the character, Leave some part of this drawing where it's not fully based off of reference. This is going to make you so much stronger as an artist because you are going to be able to work the drawing. You're going to see things that don't look right because you have nothing to base that information off of in beside your mind in your own representation or visualization of how something should look. This is such an important thing for you as an artist because you are able to then continue on and do this with many different things that you may have never drawn before in the past. So in this example, I'm showing you this very rough sketch and then we are going to see it cleaned up into something that could look a lot cooler and the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, tolerated it, and let me know what else I can help you with without showing you the same old tutorials you can find on YouTube.